Hello, this is Jim from Charlotte, and I am responding to Dr. Daniel's question in regards to sexual attraction to clients. Uh, I, I think the to start off, uh, sex is in in any forum. It's uh, it's a taboo subject. It's something that people are uncomfortable talking about. But I I believe particularly in the field that we we're choosing to go into, it's something that we need to be very aware of because it's it's very present in in most humans that you you'll run across in this world. So I I, I think that as we talk about multicultural awareness. I, I think we've got to push the boundaries of what we're willing to open ourselves up to. And I think sex is a, is a, is a very large part of that. Um, reading through the text that Dr. Daniels provided, uh, Luca 2013, um, it, it just, part of one of the chapters discussed about what do you do when you, when you encounter uh, a sexual attraction to a client. And uh, there, there's different ways to do it, but the, the two main ways are you can either acknowledge it, that it's there, that it's present, and you can work through it, or you can try to compartmentalize it and just kind of power through. Now, I, I would fall al along the lines of acknowledging that it's there, because I believe that if you just try to push something away, that <laughs> ignoring a problem is not fixing a problem. You know, you've, you've identified the problem, now you can work with it. If you try to compartmentalize it and bury it, you're not dealing with it, and how is that going to best serve your client? Um, but one thing that that was interesting, and I'm going to quote from the text here, is as we have these feelings, we're trying to work through it. It says, while psychotherapists believe guidance should be sought, the reality is that there are barriers to doing so. Our participants fear negative consequences included embarrassment or awkwardness, being judged negatively, for example, as unprofessional or weak, receiving inadequate guidance and being reported for unethical practice to a professional registration body. And I, I just think that that is a crying shame because how are we to be open and get help from our peers if we have these kind of fears? So I think that the, the stigma has got to be broken on this and we, we have to be able to talk about it. We can talk about other other areas, you know, if we're having counter-transference, whatever's going on, we're, we're comfortable doing that. If we, any of these other issues that we can talk about, why can't we talk about sex and, and without fear of being reprimanded for it? So I, I just think that that's one of those chicken or the egg questions, you know, uh, that we, we just have to focus on it and continue to work on. So thank you for listening to me, and I will talk to you next time.